Pastor Vlad, this is Ira coming all the way from Vancouver, Washington. And she was saying that as she came here, she had been having uh, problems, some thyroid and some neck pain. Something like was choking her. And during prayer, as prayer was offered, she started like coughing up things and things started coming out. And now she feels like everything is light. Not, like nothing is choking me. Wow. The sickness flee. The sickness ran. Amen. Amen. You, got, uh, you got delivered. That's what happened. You got delivered. Yeah, I did, and uh, praise all Jesus, I actually was expecting, but I, sometimes I have more faith on other people's feeling, but I was waiting, and then God came through, amen. Come on, thank you, Jesus, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. So you, you come up a little closer, uh-huh, tell us. So this is Mac right over here, he's from Salem, Oregon, and he had some problems with his intestines and his back, it was uh, all uh, out of alignment, and he couldn't move. He had a hard time breathing, and now it's all gone after prayer. Wow. So you give him the mic, huh? Yeah. Um, it's just been this thing where uh, I can't really, I haven't been able to lift stuff without a lot of pain in my back. Um, just after it got all pushed out because my intestines got inflamed, uh, and the doctors didn't know what was up. Um, and I didn't really think anything would happen, but... Uh, so you have to pray today. You feel that everything's gone. First prayer, gone. First prayer, everything's gone. gone. Come on, thank you, Jesus. Are you all the way from Florida? Well, where are you from? Salem. Oh, Salem, Oregon. Okay, so you're in town. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise be to God. This is Jason, and he came here having the knee pain. Some it happened a few years back, and then today, two years back, and then today after prayer, he feels no pain at all. And he's healed. Come on, Jason. How do you feel? Uh, I feel good. I I had irreversible. You had so, it for two years. Two years, yeah. I haven't been able to really feel my leg. Uh -huh. So sometimes when I walk, I like fall if I'm not conscious of it. Wow. And I can feel my leg again. So it's good. Come on. Thank you, Jason, for serving. God bless you. God bless so, you. So this is Betty for about six months. She says she pulled like a muscle in her arm. And she had some pain in her hip. And she testified that all the pain left. Wow. What, what are you coming from? I come from uh, Seattle, uh, Tacoma. Uh -huh. How long did you have that problem for? Oh, it's like six months. Six months with the, with the shoulder. The elbow. 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 Yeah, it's like I pulled something and it's like something kind of broke or something. So sometimes at night I can lie on that side. I mean, it pain a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. when I touch it, it will really How do you feel right now? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Nothing is there. Even when I touch it there. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, and, Jesus. And, and this is my first time to come to this conference. This is your first time? I was invited by people who have been coming here. Uh -huh. And I told them I'm going to come there. And I know God is going to do something. Come on. And I thank God for thank that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. This is Elizabeth from Spokane. She came here. She had lower back problems. And after prayer, all the back problem is gone. And now she feels great. Wow. How do you feel? Pretty good. How long yeah, did you awesome. have the problem for? Like a lot or something. Really? So awesome. Come on, we thank God for your life. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, church. So this is Nadia. She struggles with struggled with severe migraine headaches. So she came here with a migraine headache and even threw up on the way to church. So she could not even bear a uh, uh, loud sound or even look up to the bright lights and she wouldn't be able to work, she said, when she has those migraine headaches. And during the first prayer, she felt like the Lord healed her and she was looking up to the light and there was no more headaches oh, whatsoever. Wow. wow. What, are you, what are you coming from? What, Spokane. You're Washington. coming from Spokane and you feel that Jesus touched you. You feel that Jesus touched you. Oh, yes. Especially with these lights and the sound here. Well, actually, when we were coming here, I told the girls that I'm staying in the hotel with, like, maybe I should, like, I thought, maybe I should just not go because that worship going to be loud. It's going to be lots of lights. Like, that, would, I could never be able to do that. And so um, I just sat there, and I, during, you know, your sermon, I just had to lay my head down because I could not even sit upright. And then I came out here and two um, really nice girls that were just standing next to me, I don't know who they are, prayed for me. And from the first prayer, I looked up straight into the light stream and I feel totally fine. That's and so incredible. Nadia, thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. This is uh, Erica from Yakima. She said she came here this morning with a very large pain in her hands, in her arm. And then as you started praying for her, she started feeling heat going through her arm. And after that, some other girls came up and continued to pray for her and all the pain is gone. 
Come on, praise God, praise God. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Pastor Vlad, this is Olga, and she came with uh, neuralgia, which is a pain in her neck that causes migraines and pounding and headaches. She had it all day yesterday, came here with it today. And when you said to put your hand on the part of the body that's hurting, she put her hand on the back. She felt heat, and now she feels like headache is gone. She feels healed. She feels free. Wow. What, what are you coming from, Olga? I'm from Vancouver, Washington. You're from Vancouver, Washington. Is this your first time at the conference? Yes. Wow, and you felt Jesus touch you and you don't have yes, that pain no I, more. When I was praying, I started singing tongues. Uh -huh. And that doesn't happen very often. I know Holy Spirit feel me and I know heal me. Wow, wow. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Olga. Thank you for your testimony. This is Don. He drove all the way from Idaho. He's saying that for 40 years he had chronic back pain. For 40 I saw years. Pray for you. Uh -huh. And after the second prayer, completely left. You, I, you, you don't have that back pain no more? Amen, it's gone. And he did a spiritual work in me too, and I think a lot of a lot of things was hindering my healing, and I got free by just shaking that stuff off that the devil's been trying to put on me. And now I believe he's calling me to preach his word and right. even to the nation. So amen, his amen. plan's bigger than mine. Amen. We thank you. Thank you for your life. God bless you. Thank you. Keep your healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey Pastor, this is Love from Tri-Cities here. Two weeks ago she fell down and she sprained her ankle really bad. She went to the hospital and they told her that she shouldn't walk at all for six weeks in order to recover fully. She came here with faith today, believing that Jesus Christ would touch her. And already during the first prayer, she felt the anointing stream wow. through her body and the pain immediately went completely away wow. from her ankle. Wow. How do you feel? I feel very good. I feel so good right now. That is so good. That's so awesome. And also my stomach, I had a lot of pain for about a week and it's gone. Wow. <laughs> it's just gone. That is so incredible. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your testimony. God bless you. God bless you. That's why this is Casey, and God did another miracle for her today. Amen. Uh, she wasn't able, uh, since May, wasn't able to eat, like, losing the hunger for her. She's just having some stom stomach problems. Really? And, and today, as we prayed for her, now she just says she's hungry. <laughs> it's awesome. I haven't been able to keep food down since the end of May. And really? I've been in and out of the hospital about five times. And because of that? Because of it. Like fluids, because I can't keep fluids It's kind of normal to come to Hungry Generation and to be hungry. So, but God bless you. We thank, we thank God for your life. Make sure you go and eat and have somebody pay for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Pastor God, this is Sergey from Boise, Idaho. And he had struggled with shoulder pains from injury for four years. And after the second prayer, he said during the prayer, um, he felt when the guys were praying for him, a cold sensation that just touched him and the pain completely left. That's Holy Spirit. How do you feel? It's still great. I mean, I just can't believe it. So, I, mean, yeah. I, I believe it. Thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time that happened to you, something like that. Yes, huh? it's amazing. Like, it's hard to believe. Praise God. Praise God. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. Amen. The, this is Timothy from California two weeks ago. He torn his ACL and he couldn't bend it. Oh, wow. he, said he, he said he felt some heat go through his legs. Uh -huh. And right now he can bend it, he can put pressure on it, and all the pain he says is gone. Come on, how do you thank feel? God. I thank God because he took away the pain. You were in a lot of pain? I, was, I, couldn't, I couldn't really walk on it without this. Wow. And right now I can, I can like bend my knee like this. That is so incredible. Praise, Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor, this is one of our staff here, Omar, and he's been uh, serving without ever telling anyone that he's been uh, having a knee pain, and uh, he has never complained to God. He's been believing that God Almighty was going to heal him, and today was his day after the prayer. Uh, when people prayed for him, immediately the pain in his knees completely went away, and this is an injury they have had for years. Wow. Wow. Omar. Omar is the man that helped me not to quit fasting during that week. So. <laughs> Thank you, Omar. How do you feel? Uh, well, I couldn't really bend my knee like this, but now I could bend it. <laughs> so awesome. So awesome. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. This is, this is Elva. She uh, came here today and she had a lot of uh, knee pain that uh, even caused her to quit her job because there's a lot of tightness and a lot of pain. But today, she said after the prayer, all the pain is gone. She's planning on going back to work. That's Amen. Good. Come how on. Do you, how do you feel, Elva? Yeah, I feel better because sometimes I can't walk. My knee was so tight and I uh -huh. had to quit in my job because it was so much, oh, wow. much pain. So now I feel better. Yeah. God bless you. Thank Go back you. to work and make good living in Jesus' name. 
We just have a few more testimonies and we're going to wrap it up. This is Svet. And he was saying that he felt nauseous. And during the prayer of deliverance, he felt a fire within. And he started coughing. Mm -hmm. And it just left. Well, how do you feel right now? I uh, feel great. I feel amazing. You feel like, like God yeah. delivered you today? What was that? You feel like God delivered you today? Yeah, I, I knew right away uh, before I came here, I felt a sense that today, he told me today is for my freedom. I don't know what. Mm -hmm. And my wife was praying for me to pray for healing for my sickness. Like, I don't, I feel like I shouldn't be praying for this. But like, come to the front. Like, okay, I'll go. And then I started praying and I started coughing. And I felt the, the, the heat and the fire. And then right away, it just went away. So That's good. Praise Receive God. that in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. One more and we're going to be done. She uh, came here today and she suffered so much abuse, heartbreak, uh, physical, emotionally in her heart. And today as you were offering prayer, she felt like, there, like there's fire happening in her heart. And all the things that people have done to her in the past, the abuse, the rape, and all that stuff. Today she feels like the fire of God came in and just healed her on the spot. And she's awesome. Where are, you, where are you from? San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, San Antonio, Texas? Yes. You fly all the way from San Antonio, Texas? Yes. Wow. You feel that Jesus touched you today? He did it. He's I gonna... felt fire in my chest. I don't know who that man is, but he knew everything that had ever happened to me. And my and Jesus healed my heart. That's right good. now I feel whole. Praise God. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this content. I hope this was a blessing to you. If you're like me and you like to click on things, click on this, subscribe to our channel, and the content will come to you every time we post it. And remember, the best is yet to come.